In today's video, we're talking about seven skills you will gain as a PhD that are super valuable to your career search process. The first skill is resilience and grit. So in this video, what I talked about is it hard to get a PhD. I talked about the fact that whilst for me, getting you know, the learning part of a PhD wasn't so hard. The biggest thing I took away from my PhD was lessons in resilience and grit. And the reason that is, is if you are in the life sciences, biomedical sciences, even, you know, for my friends in the humanities who do um, research, research is riddled with a lot of things that don't go right, <laughs> okay? And when it doesn't go right, it basically you have to pick yourself up again and reconstruct and rebuild and keep it moving because your hypothesis may be proven wrong or it may be proven right to like, you know, to the, to the nth degree and it's crazy the results that you get. So things change a lot when you're doing PhD research and you have to be able to essentially roll with the punches. And that rolling with the punches takes grit and it takes resilience, especially if you want to finish your degree. All right. Um, and so a lot of us that go through PhDs or if you've been through a PhD, then you know that you've built a lot of, wow, it failed. <laughs> Let me not cry about this and move on. And that is really um, a useful skill that you should have when you go into the working world. The next skill is being a motivated self-starter. Now, again, because with PhDs, you're doing independent research course under the direction of your principal investigator, but most of the time you are the one doing the research and when things fail and so on, you're the one that's troubleshooting and all that you tend to be a very motivated self-starter because you realize that if you give up on the project or if you don't find a new direction for the project or if you don't seek out the resources like talking to your PI or talking to collaborators about your project so that you move your project forward, your projects will not move forward and most likely you're going to quit the PhD program. So by virtue of you doing the work that you do, you end up being somebody that doesn't need to be told, okay, when you get into lab, you're doing A, B, C, D. No, you are planning ahead of time. You're planning your weeks and your months. You're planning your experiments. You're planning your data. You're organizing your data. All of these skills are skills that you will have when you're self-motivated and you don't need somebody to be on you micromanaging your every move, right? So being a motivated, self starter is also really valuable in the work world and definitely that is a point you can highlight about yourself as you apply for jobs. Time management also becomes a really valuable skill when you're doing your PhD because you have to manage time between projects, between your personal life, social life, like all of these things, right? And your <laughs> the success of your life doing a PhD really depends on how well you manage your time and how you manage your time is how you manage your time. You know, like by the time that I was doing my PhD, I was, you know, two years into my PhD, I got married and then, you know, my, by my fourth year, I had a baby. So I did have a family. I did have that responsibility to take care of. And so, you know, it changed from when I had first started my PhD and could spend hours and hours in the lab and not be super worried about it. But having time management skills that allow you to get projects done on time, allow you to get your presentations done on time, um, you know, fitting in meetings and all that is another skill to really highlight as you go job searching. One of the skills that getting my PhD gave me was the ability to synthesize information. I used to think I was good at taking a whole bunch of information and then creating a story out of it until I got into my PhD and realized, wow, this is a skill that we really use here where you're taking, you're reading reviews, you're reading, uh, you know, original research, you're reading all these papers and documents and protocols that other people have written and you're coming up with something that is cohesive, with a hypothesis that can be followed, with, you know, a project that can be followed, with an idea that can be, you know, executed and we can see those results in a paper. That ability to take information from elsewhere and then build something completely different with that information is the whole essence of the scientific world. But it's, an act it's actually a really great skill that if you're able to take, go from nothing to something, 
based on building on the shoulders of giants to sound motivational for just a little bit, that's incredible. Writing skills is the next skill that you gain from your PhD. And I know many PhDs hate this. Actually, a lot of biomedical PhDs absolutely hate writing. I'm the odd biomedical PhD who loves it. I have a whole YouTube channel on it that you can check out right here. But um, writing skills are another skill that you gain in your PhD. Again, going off of the point I made before about synthesizing information, right? When you write a review, when you write a meta-analysis on other people's research and other work that people have done, you're not just synthesizing the information, you're also showing your writing prowess, right? Now, of course, it's going to go through editing, it's going to go through all of that. But that skill of writing is really valuable. I remember when I first joined my PhD program, I always used to be amazed at my PI, Dr. Tukel, about, you know, she would be writing grants and grants, right, to get money for research. And the way she would take the research she had done before in her own postdoc and then in her early career and then make a new idea out of that and write a grant was always so amazing to me. So I, that's something I really picked up from her and have been using ever since. And to be honest, like having writing skills will get you in so many doors. It's crazy. So if you're in your PhD program right now, or, you know, maybe you didn't think that writing and writing skills was something you could great skill you could learn in your PhD, you know, how to cite papers, all the software we use in our PhDs, in our programs to write, listen, get on it because writing skills are something that you can absolutely highlight within your career search. So problem solving and critical thinking are valuable skills in the work world as well because Almost everything in this world, almost every job is designed to solve a specific problem. If you can demonstrate that, right, and throughout your, your PhD, you're demonstrating that. And so again, highlighting this becomes super valuable. Communication. I would say one of my biggest skills I learned as a PhD student is how to communicate. Again, going back to the skills of synthesizing information, taking information, summarizing information, and then you have to communicate that, right? For instance, you, you put PowerPoints together, you have weekly meetings with people on your team, and you have to tell them what's going on with your work. And, you know, early on, I didn't realize how valuable this skill was. Um, and so I didn't practice it very much. And even during my PhD, I didn't realize how valuable it was until I came out of the PhD, which is why I'm making this video, right? For for you as a PhD student to take it seriously, or even if you're on your undergrad right now, to take it seriously. But being able to communicate your ideas to other people and being able to communicate it in a way that it creates a story, the way that most minds work. Our minds work in story form. We remember information when it's put in a story form. And so for you to be, and I, I'm not saying like try to be Steven Spielberg, but you can really take the most boring piece of research and communicate it in a way that people are like, oh, I see what you're saying. And be able, and for so that even people who are not in your field can have some kind of sense of what you're saying. Okay, so I think that communication is another big skill that you learn in your PhD that you should not sleep on because it becomes super valuable also in the work world. So I've said valuable so many times. Let me know how many times I said valuable in this video. Um, but yeah, these are the skills that I think are excellent skills that getting your PhD teaches you. And they definitely are skills that you can highlight as you go into searching for jobs.